Alright, welcome back everybody to Fire Emblem 6 The Binding Blade. We, against all odds, cleared the last chapter. We finally defeated Narshan, who did not run away. Got some new characters, one of them died. And we went to a secret shop that sold angelic robes. Which just doesn't seem fair. Anyhow, we're now on chapter 16X, The Pinnacle of Light. I wonder what will await us here. Let's find out, shall we? At the request of King Mordred, Roy headed for the Tower of the Saint on the outskirts of Aquilia. The Tower of the Saint was a place of worship for Saint Elamine, one of the eight heroes, and in the tower lay various holy object... singular, relating to her. Cool. However, this sacred tower was now under the control of Bishop Wyndham. Oh, that guy looks exactly like Bishop Oro, who had rebelled against the Elamine Church by Rortz's orders. Rort seems like such a nice guy, doesn't he? Oh, the, hey! It's finally a side quest map that's very original. Wow. Yeah, this is a pretty place. This is not. This was not in Fire Emblem 7 at all. This is cool. Alright, well, let's start by taking a look at the place. And the enemies here. We've got Steel Sword, Steel Bow. Hey, we're up against some Cavaliers. Oh, Silver Lance Paladins and an Axe Reaver guy. Great. Air Caliber Mage. Oh, great. Bishops that have Purge and Physic. My favorite. Longbow Sniper. That's not good. Bolting Sage, who we can't even really attack, because of course. Wonderful. This is gonna be bad. This also seems like a very, very windy level. At least the enemies don't don't seem that scary. It's mainly just all of these siege tomes. Yeah, those purges are going to be annoying. And more boltings up here! Wow, and a silent staff. Wow, alright. And then Wyndham has a berserk staff! Okay, that's bad. Priest of the Elmine Church, who turned his back on the Order. Well, Dumbledore didn't want him in the Order of the Phoenix anyways. Ah, uh, yeah, pretty respectable stats for a boss. Okay, berserk staff... Yeesh, is that going to be good? <laughs> Better brain some restore staves, I uh, guess. Hey, Proxima, nice to see you. Welcome to the stream. Okay, so the Annoying Fiends are going to be the status staves and the siege tomes, but outside of that, it shouldn't be too bad. Okay. Let's see. Oh, Simpsons RS, welcome! Nice to see you. Glad you could finally catch a stream. Welcome, welcome. Alright, uh, who should we not bring? That's a better question. Okay, we don't need Astol. Uh, let's see. Lance? Lance, you're falling off a little bit, if I may be honest. Your speed is incredible, but your your physical attack power is not so great. Ooh! This seems like it'll be a great level for, um... Sophia! Because there's some magic units of Siege Tomes, but she's basically immune to magic. And we have a Guiding Ring for her now. And we also might give her an Angelic Robe, because I have a couple of those now. Alright. Oh, Star Trek! Mmm, Star Trek would also be good. We don't need Fa, I don't think. Mmm. I don't think we need Deke and Rutger. So I think we'll actually leave Rutger behind. Do, do we have a Longbow? That would be really nice if we had a Longbow, but I don't think we do. Nope! The Longbow died with Sue, I think. Great. Well, I'm, I'm glad you were able to figure it out. Yeah, Twitch can be a little unintuitive at times. Oh, we all... Mm, okay. It would be nice to have more than one staff user. Oh, wait. We will have more than one staff user because... We're going to bring Sophia with a Guiding Ring and an Angelic Robe. All right, who, ha who has the Guiding Ring? Oh, it was um, Zeus, wasn't it? Yeah, there he is. Give me that. All right, Zeus, as, as cool as you are, we ain't using you. Probably not using Garrett either, but I'll keep his equipment just in case. Okay, the... <laughs> Let's give the Delphi Shield to Milady. I think she'll make very good use of it. So this means that she ain't going to take bonus damage from arrows anymore. So she, with her um, ma massive 15 defense, she should be pretty doggone good. Alright. Oh, no, no, not discard. Not discard, just storage. 
You've seen the Tower of Light somewhere? Oh, you've seen the title Tower of Light from somewhere. That's definitely possible. All right. Okay, we definitely want to Hammer and Staff, because we want to Hammer in that warp. Who has the warp staff? Oh, that's right, Lance does. Okay. Elfin will be our staff bot. We'll, t we'll keep a bunch of the staves that we're going to need on Elfin. And he can trade them to Ellen as we need. Okay. Let's get a fresh restore staff. We also have a Berserk staff. I'm not sure how good that's going to be, though. Hmm. Elfin, also take another Lightning Tome in case Ellen needs it. Okay, okay. Fins are looking up. Alright, Lance. That's right. We lost all of Lance's equipment last chapter, which is frustrating. Sh should I bring Trek instead? I actually think I might bring Trek instead. Trek needs the levels, and I think Trek is actually maybe a little bit better. You can keep the Horse Slayer there. That actually is a f is fine. Let's get you an Iron Axe. That doesn't have four uses. And let's see what else. Maybe a more powerful Lance. Or no, we definitely need a 1-2 to two range option on Trek. There we go. We also need to figure out who we, uh... Who we want to give the Angelic Robes to. I'm definitely giving one to Sophia. But, but as for who the other ones are going to, that's a little more up in the air. Milady, you definitely need a javelin. Thaney, you you're good, I think. All right, all right. I think that should be pretty sufficient. That said, let's play. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be uh interesting. Chapter 16X, The Pinnacle of Light. Lord Rort's fled? I can't believe it! He seemed like such a brave man! Then what would happen to me, who turned against the church and took over this tower? Uh, sir, Lord Rort's message is that he doesn't want to waste time dealing with useless bishops who cannot even tame the Elamine church. That's because that yodel got in my way! Well, yes, but even if you tell me about it... Alright, fine. Then this is our last mission. If we are to die, then the Lisi Alliance army is going down with us. Prepare the heavenly arrows. Please wait. If we use that, it'll hit our allies as well. Quiet. I do the ordering around here. I shall show them. <laughs> what the heck does that mean? Oh. Oh, hey, you. You're finally deciding to join our team after we talked to you a bunch of times. This is the Tower of the Saint. Saint Elamine's weapon, the Areola spellbook, lies here. Thank you, Lord Douglas. You were helping us, who were your enemies just a while ago. You do not have to thank me. The king ordered me to help you. Do not worry about it. Besides, you are saviors of Etruria. It is an honor to be able to fight alongside you. Then why couldn't you have done that last chapter, Lord Douglas? Alright, we get Douglas. Oh, hey, he has a lance now. Cool. Well, he definitely slow, but he's a tank, so I'll take it. We just gotta keep him out of range of the siege tomes. This also means I think all the status stave guys are going to target him, because he's last in the deployment line. Okay, this is... going to be interesting. Alright, Star Trek. You can lead the way. Sophia, you can go behind. Pop that Angelic Robe. Oh yeah, 33 HP. That's nice. 
Douglas does... He, he looks really cool, for sure. I just wish he had joined us last chapter. It would have been really nice. Ooh. Yes. You're using Hamurn on the Warp Staff. It's definitely a worthwhile investment. <laughs> this also could be a good chapter to build up uh, Ellen's Light Magic rank. This guy... Oh, Wait, Bishop Wyndham only has eight res. He's a bishop with more defense than res. That doesn't... I haven't seen that since Renal. Get, let's go. Actually, should I have brought Thaney? I feel like I did not need to bring Thaney. Oh, well. Actually, yeah, she can give uh, support bonuses to Deke. Characters, th enemies that can move with Siege Tomes. This is going to be... Oh, no! Trek has no res! That's okay. He can dodge like a pro. I forgot that Trek literally has zero res. What? Uh, what was that? I don't see any contraption that shot that down, but that was definitely not normal. Oh no. Do I have to account for stuff that I am not don't even know about? Yuck. I hate that. Alright, let's take out... Oh, it's a perfect kill! Kablam! Okay, well... Also gotta be very careful of Sophia, because she will still get one-rounded by every physical unit in the game. But we also have to be careful of Trek, who will die to bolting really fast. Alright. Hmm. Trek, you've got a lot of defense, right? You got 17 defense. You ain't gonna die if I put you here, right? Ugh, nah. Nah, you'll be fine. Actually, wait. I forgot about that magic user over there. If he gets hit by the bolting and by that and by. Okay, hang on. So you have. Okay, you have free res. Okay, so you take 24 damage from that. And you'll take 13 damage from that, which will leave you a free HP. Oh, no, that's an exact kill. Okay, well. You got a barrier. Oh. Splendiferous. Okay. Sophia will not be getting the KO on the mercenary. Because, uh, we're gonna barrier up our man Star Trek. He can be the star. <laughs> I'm hoping that too, RS. RS, yeah. I'm hoping Sophia gets some... To be honest, Sophie, Sophia hasn't really gotten that many bad levels. She's just been speed screwed, which is bad. But honestly, like, her magic, skill, res, and HP are all kind of on point. So, I don't know. I think she's just not a very good unit. It pains me to say that, but... Way, way to go, Thaney. You don't even finish off the, uh, the Merc. <laughs> I, maybe I should give an Angelica up to Thaney to make her a bit tankier. That could be useful. Ah, my man Deke! He is so good. I mean, heroes as a class in general are very good. I suppose I could rescue I mm, is that even worth it though? It honestly might be. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Oh, she can support I Green already? Wow. Sophia should be okay. She can only get hurt by magic units, and she has 18 reds, so. Hmm. She's there okay, she's not gonna get doubled by this guy. That is a weight of no, she won't. She will not get doubled by Bolting Sage, although it's it was dangerously close. But she, I think, will get doubled by Elfire Mage. 
We'll just wait and see. She should be fine, though. With the angelic robe, she should be fine. Oh, wait. Although, wait. I didn't heal her, did I? Oh, wait. Oh, what have I done? Well, we'll just see what fate has in store for us. <laughs> they might still attack Star Trek. Because he, even with the barrier staff, he still has pretty low res. Yeah, they're still attacking Star Trek. Oh! Wait, you don't double-eye green when she's rescuing... Oh, no! No, 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 no! Okay, so that was a bad move, actually. I fought hard, didn't I? Can I go back to the place... She died before she could finish the sentence. Wow, I must... I'll be honest, I did not expect a Bolting Sage to be capable of doubling anything. Well, that kind of sucks. Because I was going to support Igreen and Sophia together. Also, Igreen had a lot of good bows on her. Well, I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to live with my mistake. <laughs> After all, <laughs> what's the point if there's not a little risk, eh? It is early enough in the chapter I could reset, but nah. I'm not backing out this early. Okay. I hate how you can't actually hit the bolting made sage, though. That's really dumb. I got way too greedy with that. The things that I did all of, I literally sacrificed I green just so Sophia could kill a unit. That's That's not good. Must say I was I was not expecting I green to die. That's a shame. I do still have Klein though. What is all my bow users are dying? Like all of them. Douglas, you're too powerful. Oh, Thaney, you won't want... No, I think even Thaney, yeah. Even Thaney will one-round him. Dog on it. I don't want Sophia to kill. Or, I want Sophia to kill. Guess that's not happening, though. She dodged! That is rare. Sophia never dodges. Alright. I think we can take on these losers. Milady don't need any help. Yikes. Does the game get tougher from here on out? I don't really know, because I haven't played it before. I mean, I wouldn't ex... Fire Emblem games do generally get easier the farther into the game you go. Generally, but I don't know if this is an exception. I just moved Douglas in range of two magic users, didn't I? Actually, Elfin might die as well. I think Elfin has enough speed that he shouldn't die. But then again... Okay, he missed. If Elvin dies, I am resetting. <laughs> I need my bard. Oh, I even got... Ah, oh, man. I I think at this point, the only character... 
Okay, thank you. I think at this point, the only character who can actually support... Oh, now we'll get two of them. I think the only character that Sophia can now support is Fa. I think that's actually the case. Which is annoying. Because Sophia could use a good support partner. Oh, wait, no. She can also support Ray, but I'm not using Ray. Alright, Sophia. Well, she got magic, at least. Okay, you still got full HP. Alright, how does Trek fare off against this man? He can't one-shot even with a Horse Slayer, which is not great. Okay, I gotta watch out for this guy. Silver Lance Paladin is not nice. Also, is Bolting Sage out of Bolting at this point? Kinda hope so. Chapter doesn't seem too tough, it's just annoying. I also don't know what's going to happen if one of those holy arrows from the ceiling hits me. So that's always... <laughs> element of surprise is always fun. Thaney is not going to die from... Silver Lance Paladin. There's no way he doubles Thaney. And I don't care how powerful he is, he's not taking down 32 HP in one hit. It just ain't happening. Alright, you, you're a little scary. Ha ha! Boom! Putting the kill in Killer Lance. That's Mama Lady. Ooh, and a nice amount of EXP too. At least for Fire Emblem 6 standards. Okay, you're attacking Ellen. That's to be expected. Cool, cool! Free kill for Sophia. Unless she misses, which is possible. Oh, hi, Mr. Axe Reaver. Ha <laughs> ha! Broke the killer lance in your face with a critical hit. Oh! And a level up for Milady. Now that's a level up! <laughs> Going in, doing it in style! That almost makes up for those, like, five, eight, just HP level ups you got. <laughs> don't, don't mess with the killer, Lance. You gonna get bit. Ooh, and Ellen might be able to, uh, take out the Paladin as well. That would be great. Alright, Star Trek really is the star. He's amazing. Okay, that was the last bolting. I, I love hearing the first few seconds of the enemy is attacking theme over and over again. It's great! <laughs> Star Trek! Star Trek! Ooh, level up for Star Trek! Let's see what he's getting. Alright, nice! Trek could be a nice character to give the Speedwing to. Because I think he's just shy of doubling a lot of stuff. Oh, hi! You're going to use... Oh no, that's the silent staff. I'm like, you're using bolting on Lolina? Really? <laughs> She's got like 20 res. <laughs> okay! Ouch. Ouch. Ouch! Alright, don't stack my characters together vertically. Alright, Sophia. You get two opportunities to hit this guy. But you only need one! Yes. Aw, she's not getting much experience anymore, though. Sophia... Hang on. Okay, well... 
I don't think Sophia gets one-rounded by the boss, so we might be able to train her on him. That would be pretty great. Is Sophia improving? She is! Alright, Ellen. Kill him! <laughs> I really need to build up that light magic rank, because uh, we're getting Ariola at the end of this chapter, and nobody is capable of using it yet. Me, 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 me. Wait, before I... How about before I move you down, I, uh... Make sure you're not gonna die. <laughs> I do still have to baby Sophia, but... At least I only have to baby her around physical units now, and not all enemies. She's actually very, very good against magic users, which is... Hey, at least she has some utility. <laughs> Roy is just dead weight right now because, uh, <laughs> well, he's max level. All right, level up for Thaney. What you getting? Okay, see, now she's getting strength. I just had to promote her in order for her to get strength. That's how it goes. Oh yeah, Lelina, you're our only healer on this side. Oh, doggone it! I could have gotten the A support with uh, him and Thaney. Whoops. Okay, you've got Air Caliber, and that's a little scary. Because I've got two flying units on this side. Oh, <laughs> what, what do you think? You can hit Star Trek? No way, no how. Alright, here's your last use of the Silence Staff. Is it going to hit? Oh, that's actually kind of bad. Because, um... Now she can't do anything for four turns. Well, do you one-shot this guy? Oh, oh my! <laughs> Apparently the Delphi Shield also protects flyers from air caliber tomes. Oh, never mind. Oh, my lady's just going to destroy everything in her path. Dang, she's good if you can level her up. Oh, no. Guy with a purge tome. All right, let's get that last support. Deke! See how I have been adjusting my pace to the others lately? Yeah, but you shouldn't trust them too much, Ivor. Huh? That's different than what you were saying before. What I said was a guideline for fighting. What I'm saying now is a guideline for a mercenary. For a mercenary, a mercenary has to fend for himself. No one's going to be looking out for you. You've got to be skeptical. You should even be wary that I might be giving out orders just so I can ensure my own safety. That's not a problem. Eh? You wouldn't be thinking things like that. You never know. I know. So do Lot and Ward. That's why we can entrust our lives to you. Don't get cocky, kid. Hehe. <laughs> hey! Not all, not all supports need to be romantic. Alright, well, here, uh, here. Roy will give you some uh, throat lozenges there, Thaney. Yeah. Why does Thaney look like a Sailor Moon character? I don't know. Alright, how do you fare against him? Oh, you almost kill him all by yourself. If only you actually did. Okay, do you get doubled by... <gasps> Guys, Sophia doesn't get doubled anymore! At least not by an archer with uh, six speed. And a steel... <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, so that archer actually only has four speed, so Sophia's actually very close to doubling him. Wow. She's improving, guys. I'm so proud of you. 
Now, I kind of would like to, uh... Heal up Ellen a little bit. That would be nice. Oh, hey. Quit hogging all the vulneraries. Alright, you've got an axe, Reaver, eh? Well, <laughs> I've got just the thing for that. Oh, yeah, you're attacking Elfin. <laughs> you fool! Elfin has great dodge. Oh, ouch, that actually hits pretty hard. Not that my lady particularly cares. Oh, Trek is on fire! Yeah, Trek is officially better than Lance. I don't care that Lance doubles absolutely everything. Even when he doubles, he very rarely kills. Oh no, don't get him in the way. I need to get rid of Mr. Purge. Oh wait. Yeah. Thaney, can I count on you to finish? Oh! Uh, <laughs> well, um, hmm, well, that is, uh, certainly a thing that is there. Um, hmm, well, about that, yes, verily, I say, um, <clears throat> okay, uh, well, well, what, what weapon do you have? You have a long, oh, I ain't worried about a longbow. All right, all right. This, this, oh, you hit hard. Okay, mm, that's actually bad. Uh, Thaney, can you one round him? You can. But again, uh, okay. Tactical decision. Thaney, you take the Delphi shield for the time being. Okay, that's. Here's the thing, though. He has 20 attack. So he'll, she'll take 19 damage from the bow guy. Mm, okay. So she'll have 20 HP left if she gets hit by him. And then she'll have uh, 9 HP left if she gets hit by him. If Fanny gets... Mm. If Thaney gets hit by everything, then she dies. I don't like that. Go get a 50% crit. Yeah, okay, there we go. The Earth is saved! <laughs> I hate having my one healer silenced. Alright. Whoosh! Nice job, Sophia. <laughs> she looks like she's wearing a hoodie. Ooh boy, a level up for Elfin. Oh wow, he's close to max level. Oh, Air Caliber Mage? Pfft. That's a job for Sophia. Oh. That's actually very smart of you to attack my lord. Too bad you failed. That could have been bad if it was a little bit to the right. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Zero damage from Air Caliber Mage. Boom! She's like, was that a breeze? I didn't feel anything. Just gotta make sure I stay out of the way of uh, some of these other enemies. Oh yeah, I have to remember this guy has a Berserk Staff. Ooh. Oh, yeah! Okay. 
He doesn't move, so one, two, three, four. Okay, minus four. So, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. Okay. Don't move above here. <laughs> It does kind of look like Skyward Sword, yeah. A little bit. Alright. I gotta be careful with that Berserk Staff. Because <laughs> that could be really, really bad if I get Berserked and have no way of actually restoring it. So we're gonna have to lure out his Berserk Staff. With somebody like, uh, Sophia. Okay, I'm gonna need that Restore Staff. Here, you can take your Vulneraries back. I don't need them. <laughs> he still has the bird on his shoulder. That's that's adorable. Eventually, Lolina will be able to speak again. Oh! Cool! Yeah, ambush spawns, because of course. Don't know why I'm surprised about it. So at this point, Sophia's kind of getting just as much EXP from just injuring an enemy as she is for actually killing an enemy. Where are those getting shot from? He's like, fire the holy arrows. It's like, what? Who's shooting those? Oh, don't mind me. We just have an archer and a helicopter above here. Yes. Oh no, my flux tome. It's okay, I have another book that's exactly identical to it. I would love to promote, uh, Sophia this video. Okay. How much range does it have? <laughs> I can't read that. <laughs> okay. It's minus four, so... Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. Okay. So moving above here. That's what triggers it. Alright. I'm gonna want Sophia to do that. But we also have to deal with Mr. Sniper first. There we go. That's, that, that will do it. <laughs> it's my last heal staff. It's okay, we brought a mend. Ooh, level up for Ellen. Oh my... What the heck? Ellen is my highest level character by a mile. She's, she's level 12! Promoted. Only, like, only Douglas compares, and I haven't even used him. He just came at that level. Alright. Darn it, I can't... Mm. Oh, great! You've got another silence staff! That's just great. Well, you have no one else we get the, who you can use silence on this end, so... Suck it. Yes! Oh, that's, that's so nice. Oh, yeah. Man, everyone's attacking the bard. He's not doing anything. Oh, yeah, you have bolting. <laughs> Got struck by a bolt of lightning, and I'm like, oh, was that a scratch? I barely even felt anything. <laughs> That's the same sound effect that the shooting stars from Paper Mario make. That's kind of cool. All right, Thaney. There we go. Way to break your javelin in style. Good job. 
Is that Lombo guy? Oh, the Lombo guys don't move. Well, that's weird. Hmm. She does need a new javelin. <laughs> you know what? Puts her in berserk range. <laughs> and you know what? That'll give her a decent amount of EXP, just because she dealt technically dealt damage. <laughs> Alright, I want him. hmm, okay. If I can move Trek right there, but I can't. <laughs> Here you go, Trek, let's mend up your 1 HP. Then on this side? Okay, oh, yay. Now we can actually start healing people up. Man, staves are how you get the EXP, apparently. Oh, ambush spawns. Great. Okay, here we go. Die! All of you! Everything shall be destroyed! Oh, we're back to the original boss music, eh? Oh no, Sophia's so mad. I can't imagine what Sophia would be like if she's mad. Oh, you can double her. Oh, you damaged him. That's not great. Okay, everything's happening at once. Alright, that's... Hmm. <laughs> I can't imagine her being angry, to be honest. She's like, the quietest, most gentle character in the game. Okay, hmm. Oh, you've got Divine. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We've gotta mend up Elfin, because if Elfin dies, then I have I have to reset. <laughs> I ain't going through the game without Elfin. I think he might be needed to get the good ending as well. So now we play, so she can move again. And she is going to use Restore on Sophia. So that way Sophia doesn't die a horrible, tragic death. Star Trek, you're going to move in, and you're going to... Wow, you don't actually hurt that guy as much as I would like you to. Alright, let's pull Sophia back. She can quaff a vulnerary. I don't like how much damage that does to Trek. Especially, mm. Oh yeah, Trek's back to his free res. That's not good. I also cannot let Ellen be Berserk Diver. Ellen has 28 res, so I don't really see that happening. But if it does happen, we're kind of screwed. Royally. Oh, I need, a debra I need a brave weapon, but I don't have one. Okay. Maybe... I'll move over here and equip a sword. Oh no, what have I done? Oh, I think Trek just died. No, no, I can't lose Trek! <laughs> no! Shoot, I forgot about Bolting Mage. Oh no. Come on. Crit, 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 crit. Oh wait, what am I doing? If I get berserked on this side, I have no Restore Staff! 
No! I beat stupid! Ah, oh, no, no, no! Okay, this is... Things just got interesting. Alright, well, let's see what happens! Okay, okay, I kind of figured he would try... Oh. Trek is very prone to anger, apparently. But I'm pretty sure... Never mind, Trek's not dead. Never mind, Trek's not dead. Oh no, is Elfin dead? Ouch. Oh, psh, why was I even worried about Trek? Oh. That's right. Okay. That's actually pretty, pretty easy. Okay, you ha- Okay, you just have a divine. You don't have a purge. It's this stupid purge guy that is being really annoying. So let's take him out. Thank you for not missing, Trek. I appreciate it. Yeah, Douglas does look like Mr. Latus from Apollo Justice, Mr. <laughs> oh, that's right. We haven't gotten to that part of the Let's Play yet. Whoops. <laughs> Spoilers for a future Apollo Justice video. Okay, we're pulling back our characters on this side, because I cannot get berserked if I don't have a restore staff. <laughs> so... Bye-bye. There we go. How much reach do... I, the problem is I don't, I don't know if those guys move or not. Okay, I'm I'm fine doing this with Sophia. She's she's a tough cookie. She'll live. <laughs> she's only a tough cookie when it comes to magic, of course. I'm trying to f okay. Just trying to think what I need to keep Elfin alive. So I think what I'm gonna do is. No, I can't put Elfin up there. <laughs> I can't put Elephant up there. Uh, let's see. Elfin and Douglas, you dip back for a bit. Out of range of all of these siege tomes. Alright, last Berserk. So Trek's gonna get angry again. Okay, yes. Please keep attacking Sophia. I'm okay with that. Ooh, what a... She dodges an 85%er. What, what a boss. Hashtag girl boss. Wow, that's a great level up. Again, no speed. But... <laughs> I've, ex <laughs> I've accepted it at this point. At least all those stupid Berserk staves are gone. That's... that's a relief. Okay, first things first. I release you from the spell. <laughs> there we go. Haha, <laughs> he just has a divine now. What a maroon. How does Nosferatu fare? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, even if... Even if she gets uh, hit... Even if she misses and gets hit four times with the counterattack. Ho ho ho! Nice one, Sophia. She's at Magic Triangle disadvantage. Don't even care! I bet Trek can finish the job. He can finish the job with a horse slayer. 
thank goodness the horse slayer is actually good in this game. <laughs> but I'm not a horse, you are now. <laughs> now we just have to be- oh, oh, is that what I think- oh, yes! Give me that last vulnerary. Again, I don't actually know if you drink vulneraries or if you're supposed to, like, apply them like a Band-Aid. <laughs> but I assume it's something you drink. Because elixirs are something you drink, and they look pretty much exactly the same. <laughs> Long live Star Trek! Oh yeah, you want to keep using Bolting on Roy? Go for it. I dare you. <laughs> Roy is actually good. At least my Roy is. Oh dang, Trek has dodged two 16 percent, two 47 percenters. What a what a boss. Hashtag girl boss. I have no idea what determines what column those are going to fly on, but maybe I've just gotten lucky. Give me those vulneraries. You can keep four blades for yourself. Goop, goop. Gulp, gulp. Drink a vulnerary. Yes, Gantlance. That Gantlance, like, it was really bad early in the game, but it's really coming in clutch here. That slight extra strength that it has is actually really helping out. <laughs> it looks royally fun. If, if you think it looks fun, I, I recommend going to Fire Emblem 7. That's, that's a better game. So, basically the same game engine, but they, they fixed a lot of the quality of life issues. All right. Are you out of bolting yet? You freaking not. Alright, let's mend up our girl, Sophia. And let's mend up Star Trek. Actually... Yeah, for safety's sake, we should. I did notice that pun. Of, of course I did. You can't pull one over my eyes when it comes to puns. Too experienced. I'm gonna hold... Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna hold off for a bit, because I, w I want Sophia to get this, the kill on the sniper. She's so close to level 20. There, you're out of bolting. Now shut up. <laughs> I really hope this guy doesn't start moving after we attack him. This is a weird chapter, man. This is a weird chapter. sure he's not in range of the sniper. Do 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 do. Oh. <laughs> oh, I missed. There you go, Deke. We finally healed up that scar of yours. Ooh, level up for Lumina. Let me guess, she gets magic. No, she didn't, but she gets speed! Hey! <laughs> nice job, girl. 
Level 6, level 6, level... F okay. <laughs> I'm like, who needs the EXP most? Definitely Milady. <laughs> I know Wario technically says, Soul I missed, but... Y you can't un you can't unhear it. Oh, dang. I got a lot of S rank in Lances. I don't think we necessarily need any more. Man, you're a really bad aim with those, man. Let me tell you what. <laughs> Alright, Sophia just, you know, <laughs> keep slapping his face. <laughs> just like that. Alright, this could be the last... Eh, this could be the last fiend. Will this be the final level up? Oh! -ho! Yeah! Max level Sophia! What a great last level up. You know, hey, magic is one of the best stats, so. I guess I can't really complain. I mean, I can, but I won't. Trek to the rescue. I, I just realized I really need to use some axe wielders again, because I don't have... It's my best axe... No. My best axe wielder is still Lot, or like Garrett at this point. But I've, I just realized I put all of my main axe fighters on the bench. Maybe not... Like, if I want to use arm... Oh, oh, wait, no, 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 I have Bart Ray. I don't think Bart Ray can use arm ads yet, but I've been using Bart Ray on and off. That should be okay, right? I think that should be fine. Nice job, Star Trek. All right, we've been waiting for it. Promoting Sophia! Never seen what a female druid looks like. This will be fun. Ooh! So classy. I love the color scheme, too. Oh my gosh, she get, she's at her speed is in the double digits now. Oh, she looks so good! Oh man, she is powerful! Like... She's kind of the dark magic version of Lelina, almost. And she, her red... Okay, you know what? She's still a really bad unit, but... I'm actually... I'm digging this a bit. Alright, pull back to Star Trek. And now she can use staves! Should have brought another heal staff. <laughs> My Sophia has evolved! I want to. I want to use her to lay waste to this mage. Oh, she's not in range. That's okay. <laughs> Kill him, Ella. Oh, she can't quite one shot. Oh, dude, she looks so good as a druid. Dude, I love that. I've always felt like the druids kind of looked like chicken men, but, you know, it, it, it suits her. Now, if you'll excuse me, Sophia, I really need to boost up Ellen's light magic rank. <laughs> How do you fare against the boss? <laughs> boss can't even damage! Wow. Ellen is invincible when it comes to magic attacks. <laughs> I love it. What? Is that spit on my screen? Who spit on my screen? It certainly was not I. Do, do, do. Alright. What? We're still not done with the ambush spawns, really?
Really? Are you... Are you really going to do this? No, you're not. <laughs> Ouch. That's not nice. Who's shooting these? Give me that heal staff. Oh, even the heal staff has that awesome purple color scheme. Okay, Sophia is the coolest looking druid in the series. No question. Whether she's the best or not, that is definitely not the case. <laughs> but <laughs> it's you can't really top Kanas as far as druids go. Oh no, my lightning broke. Alright, who should finish the job? How about Star Trek? If he's able to do it. What's the most accurate weapon? 41, 41, 36. Okay. <sighs> yeah, let's try it. Darn it, Star Trek. <laughs> Alright, maybe Sophia can finish. Oh, pfft, no, she can't. How about Deke? There we go. Really, Deke? Come on. Come on, man. What? Don't mess with me, game. Thank you! I was getting worried for Trek there a bit. <laughs> Great job. Also, <laughs> welcome Les Jorez, if the, I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Welcome to the stream. There we go, Thaney. Keep leveling up those speed. I would have had Roy finish the job, but Roy's already capped at his level, so I didn't want to waste the EXP. Also, Roy's very good. Don't know what anybody's talking about. Dug on it. All the good, all the good support partners are taken. <laughs> Oh yeah, Mr. I can silence people is around. Alright. Well, let's level up uh, Sophia's uh, staff rank, I guess. Whee! Oh my gosh, she's so powerful. Beautiful. Oh, great! More ambush spawns, because why not? <laughs> you get an HP refill, and you get an HP refill, and you get an HP refill! <laughs> Whatever it takes. <laughs> Ambush spawns are the worst. Nobody likes them. If you actually like ambush spawns, there's, there's something wrong with you. Hot take. <laughs> oh, shoot. I need to be watchful of that, but hey! More staff experience! Oh. Okay, maybe I actually shouldn't be building up supports. Maybe that's actually a bad thing. Also, they never once hit the enemies. <laughs> yeah, maybe this... The side quest chapters tend to be really sucky chapters for getting up support ranks, because there's always some annoying gimmick you have to wait for.
give me that one use heal staff. I'm healing up my boyfriend. <laughs> That's just how it's going to be. <laughs> and there, we broke the heal staff. Alright, now we can turn on Sophia's animations again. No, she's going up to the two. Alright, now we can now we can conquer the throne. Master Roy, I think we found the spa book. Lord Douglas, is this? Yes, this is it. This is the pinnacle of light, the Aureola spellbook, Saint Elamide's weapon. May we use it? The king said to use anything in the tower that you found useful. And the Elamine church is on our side as well. If we still have trouble, then I can negotiate. Alright, thank you, Lord Douglas. But we don't have anybody who can actually use it. <laughs> My Roy friend. Nice one. <laughs> Princess Guinevere, I must speak with you. Is it that we must attack Burn as well as after Etruria? Did someone inform you? No. But I knew that it would happen eventually. We cannot leave Burn running around freely any longer. I'm sure that it would be hard to see your nation invaded, but... Roy, I will give this to you. What is this? It is Burn's greatest treasure, the Fire Emblem. What?! That's the name of the game! In the south of Burn lies a temple called the Cave of Seals. In it lies the sword that our founder, Hartmut, used. Is it... one of the divine weapons? It is said to be so. However, the sword was so immensely powerful because it was made to slay the Dark Dragon, the leader of the dragons during the Dragon and Heart Human Wars. Therefore, after the war, the sword was sealed in the cave. The Fire Emblem is the key to open the door to it. Be consistent! Some games the Fire Emblem is a shield, some games it's like a jewel, and in this it's like a key? What is this? The key. My brother is trying to force the world into submission with military strength. That is something that is not forgivable, no matter what the reason. So we're just gonna invade the most military- the most powerful military, like, country in the entire world with a bunch of teenagers. I think we can pull it off! To stop him, all we can do is defeat the dragons that are by his side. Princess Guinevere. My name shall be stained in history as the one who betrayed her nation. No. I shall be hated all my life as a traitor. Roy, promise me one thing. When we invade Burn, please do not harm the civilians. Uh, can we at least ransack the villages? Yes. Okay, cool. I, pr I will not, trust me. Thank you. Ah, oh, we got Ariola! Nobody can use it, but we got Ariola. Well, normally I end at 9.30, but it's only 9.10, so we're going to try to do another chapter tonight, y'all. We're on chapter... Oh! Ah! Ah! What is this? We're on chapter... What is... What? Are we about to destroy the game? <laughs> Teenagers saving the world. That is... Yeah, that's true. Average anime plot. Oh, I'm scared. After Roy captured Aquilia, other Etrurian forces flocked the to anti-coup d'etat group. Forcing out the coup d'etat militia, Rorts and Arcard were driven out of Etruria and fled north to Ilia. We've never been to Ilia before! Which was under Burns' control. Can we go there? We're going to Ilia! Ilia, or the Frozen Highlands, is a land with short summers and long winters. Barf! I'm never moving there. With little arable land, the nation's main source of income was sending mercenaries out to fight for pay. How is that? How can you build a nation's economy off of that? That don't make any sense. The now free Kingdom of Etruria joined its forces with the Lysi Alliance Army. Now a joint force under the name of the Etrurian Army, their first mission was to enter Ilya to finish off the coup d'etat forces. After that, they would launch direct attacks on Burn. Roy, nominated as the leader of the Etrurian Army, he is 15 years old, so he pretty much has all of life figured out. He had the powerful support of the Elamine Church, getting the people on his side. However, Roy had to face the freezing cold of Ilya, as well as the elite troops under General Murdoch. Oh no! I don't want to fight General Murdoch! <laughs> the leader of the Free Dragon Lords. In addition, some of the powerful Ilian knights had turned to Burn's side. Is there a nation in this game that hasn't turned code to join Burn? Good lord! Like, you can only do it so many times before it kind of gets out of hand. Like, okay, like, first Burn is invading everything. Okay, yeah, sure. It's like, then, like, Laos of the Lisi Alliance army joined Burn. It's like, okay, that makes sense. Like, Eric, was, who was the leader of Laos, is kind of a snake. I it, Like, he, it's in character for him to do that. It's like, okay, but next, like, oh, creepy Jafar advisor joins him as well, who's like... 
serving Austin. It's like, okay, it's like, then the entire Austin government joined them in the rebellion, which is like, that's kind of weird, because Austin was always kind of anti-burn, but okay, it's like, then the Western Isles turned to burn, then Sakai turned to burn, then Etruria turned to burn, now Ili, it's like, is there anybody left? Good lord! <laughs> burn, like, what, why are they doing this? Like, if everyone's just like, burn, nah, I don't think so, then they would be stopped. This is this, this is so dumb. As a start, Roy headed to Castle Raimi. Oh, we're going to Castle Raimi, <laughs> located on the Ilian border. Making Ratatouille, y'all. Oh, yes, Ilya. It looks so cold. <laughs> oh, no, not ballistas. Oh, no. This is not going to be good. All right. Well, Killer Lance, Steel Lance, Stiller Lance. Cool. Great. Oh, boy. Arena. Why do I come to the arena? <laughs> Yeah, the Stiller Lance. Okay, the regular Ballista. Okay, at least those are just regular Ballistas, so... Thank goodness for small favors. Plus, we can have, um... Delphi, Shield, Milady just take, make quick work of them. Okay, nothing too bad. Okay, I don't like the Killer Lance and Silver Lance guys, but... Oh, of course there's a Purge guy. Oh, Fimbulvetter. Sleep Staff. Yuck, Horse Slayer. Oh, are we finally fighting our card? Man, we saw him as a boss, like, many, many chapters ago. Okay, we got a lot of horses. Alright, alright. This should be doable. Okay, who... Should we stay, or should we go? I kind of want to bring Fa, just so I can build up that Fa Sophia support. I think Fa can also support Elfin. Okay, we don't need Astol. I don't need Percival. We got Trek and Lance, that's fine. Okay. Okay, hang on. Bart race stats. 22, 11, 10. Lot. 10. <laughs> I have a Hero's Crest. I could promote Lot, but I don't think it's worth it. He's not good. I think I would rather sell it for cash. Alright. Bart Ray. You've got an A rank in Axes. How about, um... How about Garrett? You've got a C... <laughs> Sorry, Garrett. We ain't doing that! <laughs> We're bringing Bart Ray. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, hey, Glitchy! Welcome! Nice to see ya! We're doing another chapter today, because the first one went by pretty quickly. Alright, see ya, RS! Thank RS, thanks for joining. Great seeing ya, and uh, take care. Have a great rest of your night. Alright. As far as who do we choose? Honestly, do I bring Fanny? Fanny is, like, good. Well, actually, Fanny's pretty boss. Fanny's pretty boss. Maybe we should take her. I'm... Yeah. Here's the thing, though. If I bring Clarine, she makes Klein better. Is there anybody else who I'd want... I don't want to take Douglas. I'm not using Douglas. I'm not using Garrett. That's... That is final. <laughs> Uh, Percival's pretty... Actually, hang on. 17, 13, 18. Okay. And he has 12 defense. Mmm, Percival's actually better than Lance's. That doesn't even seem right. How is Percival better than... No, I, I've used Lance all this time. I'm using Lance now. You're not... You can't trick me, game. We're not doing that. Actually, we don't really need Klein. We'll just bring Chlorine. There. Okay. There we go. Do, 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 do. Oh. Give me that lightning tome. I need it! Do we have any heal staves or... Nope. Cool. No, that's fine. I didn't, you know, I didn't even want to heal staff anyways. Ooh! That's cool, Glacier. You got more finished after the last version of the hack. Very nice. That's always, that's always cool, working on something. I probably should do more of that myself. Okay. Oh, this is great. We got a Hero's Crest and a Knight's Crest and an Orion's Bolt that we are not using. We could probably sell all of them. That actually could be pretty good. We still have the Speed Wings, too. And at this point, it, using them on Sophia is a little more viable. 
Can you use him on Sophia or maybe Trek? Ah, I think at this point we're using him on Sophia. She's a, her, she has enough speed now that using that I think will have her avoid getting doubled by a lot of things. Alright, Clarine! Gah. Elf, and what staves do you have? You got the Hammer and Staff. Um, actually, tell you what, Elfin, you can keep those, because if Clarine dies, it's not that big of a deal. Alright, Bart Ray. Darn it, are we out of hand No. You know who has hand axe? It's Garrett. Yeah, Garrett, you're not very good. I'm definitely using Bart Ray over you. How has it gotten to the point where Bart Ray is my best axe wielder? I had bought you were so promising, but doggone it, those are not good stats. Not compared to what we have now, unless he gets just stupidly good promotional gains, which I'm not counting on that. Give me my Delphi shield back. I want another killer lance. I want a javelin. Is that everything? We good? That looks so good. Okay. What the heck is that chapter name? Why is that chapter name glitched? I don't like it. Ah! Let's just start the chapter. Will it say it here? No! Ah! <laughs> this is, is this like a creepy pasta now? Did I die? Now the boss disappeared. Is this one of those like hacks where it's like? Piracy is a crime. It starts out normal, then it gets crazy at the end because you feel bad about pirating it. You know, Nintendo, if you release this game in America, I would happily pay full price for it. So, Narshan has fallen. Yes. Lord Murdoch, did we really not have to aid him? Those were the king's orders. Besides, the Burn Army has no use for a man who cannot clean up his own mess. Oh, this guy. That <laughs> Lord Miradag! What will become of us? Lord Arkard, I will entrust this land of Remy to you. Lord Rortz, I will have you take the land of Edessa. Please make preparations to retaliate. What? Remy is right on the border! The enemy will arrive in no time! True. But this position also allows us to easily launch an attack on Etruria. Make sure this castle does not fall. Redessa! It's in the outer wastelands of Ilya! You would have plenty of time to prepare your defenses, would you not? You could not take back Etruria for us? It is possible. But when we win, Etruria will go under Burns' rule. No, that'll not do! Then I suggest you find a way to deal with the situation yourself. Excuse us. They look so nice. My lord. Were we really supposed to dispose of those two like that? Don't worry. Burns' code says that every individual must be able to deal with his own consequences. You know, that's... I have respect for that. The enemy leader was his name Roy. Yes. I must admit he has done a superb job rebuilding the Alliance army even after we crushed it so. If I have the chance, I would like to have the honor of fighting him. He's one-on-one. -on -one. Well, Roy's max level. Once he promotes, so then we'll see. But I've heard he doesn't promote till the last chapter, which is really dumb. Oh, it's 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 the hill again. <laughs> We're soon approaching the Etrurian border. Bishop Yodel, I thank you for everything. Thanks to the church, we were able to proceed thus far with ease. Oh please! If you had not captured Aquilia, we would be suffering from per prosecution under burn. This is nothing in comparison for what you did to us. I'm glad that I could be of use to you. Now, may I ask a very important favor? Yes, anything that I am capable of. If you find out anything else about the dragons... I understand. If I discover anything new, I will report to you immediately. Thank you! Oh yes, I must tell you something. At a certain time of day, the sea level drops, exposing a sandbar that can be crossed. Wait, what? A sandbar? Yes. If you were to go all the way around to attack the castle, it would take much time. However, if the sandbar were crossed, it would not take as long. I see. But please be careful. Rushing is not always the best tactic to win a war. Yes, thank you for your advice. Of course. Then may Saint Elamon bless the Etrurian army. <laughs> we get this music again. Hooray! Okay, let's take out the guy with the killer lance first. 
Oh, hey! Ellen can take him out in one round! <laughs> Ellen is so ridiculously high level. Like, look at that. She is about to cap magic, luck, and reds. That's nuts. Like, that's actually nuts. Zhink! Alright, let's, let's just clear up. Let's clear out the plebeians. <laughs> ah, Gantlance. I do love good Gantlance. Alright. This guy could be trouble with his silver lance and his fancy boots. That's why we're gonna have Rutger deal with him. All right, Ruger, you better crit. Ruger, you freaking better crit, okay? You have 76% chance. Thank you. I, man, I'm so sad that Gonzalez died still. Like, I know he died so long ago, but doggone it. Having a promoted Gonzalez would have been so fun. All right, folks, move aside. Bart Ray stepping through. Oh my gosh, she got 12 speed now. Still not a very high amount, but... <laughs> All right. Oh no, Fa, your support buddy died. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Star Trek? I really need to find if... Okay. No, 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 no. I'm looking up who the heck Trek can support. He has gone so long without having anybody to talk to. It's just like me. No, I don't want Trek bicycle support. I want FE6 Trek supports. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, obviously he can support with Noah. Alright, where's Trek? Trek can support with Zealot Noah. Uh, oh, he can support with Milady! Oh, that's perfect! We can support the two of them together! Then there we go, that's exactly what we'll do. We could also send someone into the arena for fun. I might send Rooker into the arena, actually. Because I've heard in Fire Emblem 6, your support bonuses carry over into the arena. Oh no! Burnt me! You get the, the, get the bow equipped, buddy. <laughs> I actually need to have Barre use axes so he can use armads. I want to have somebody be able to use all the legendary weapons. Sophia doubles. Guys, Sophia doubles! The power of the speed wins! Oh my gosh, now she's reminding me of Kanas! Oh, this is so nice! Alright, dude. <laughs> Eat my axe! <laughs> you think you can just bring down Bart Ray the Brave? <laughs> you got another thing coming. <laughs> Alright, Bart Ray, let's see your level up. Alright! Wow, you got res! Nice job! I approve. Alright. Keep the dragon girls together. <laughs> you guys are going to be the new Axe Bros. Okay. <laughs> this might be really stupid. <laughs> That's okay. Ruger, <laughs> go to the arena. Hello there. Welcome to the arena. Would you like to wager 680? Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, great! Swordmaster of Steel Sword. Oh, no. He actually can crit. But so can Ruger. 
This is probably really stupid. I probably should not be doing this. <laughs> no, never mind. <laughs> I mean, it worked out thus far. <laughs> All right, that's a very root girl level up. Oh, so you won, eh? <laughs> yeah, I did. I always win. Build up that light magic rank. I am freaking determined to make sure Ellen will be able to use Ariola. She'll be so unbelievably good with Ariola. And she's my only hope at this point. Unless I get another Athos like unit who's just like, oh yeah, I can use Ariola immediately. But I'm not counting on that. Alright. What's in this village? Well, you fight against burn, then please take the staff. It was once used by a noble princess. The Tina Staff? What the heck is that? <laughs> Tina Staff? HP recovery. That's real descriptive. What the heck is that? I gotta say, this game has some weird, weird little uh, items in it. All right, let's let's just take down them ballistas. Oh, what weapon do you have? You have a steel axe. <laughs> I ain't worried about that, crud. I got me a sword. <laughs> nice job, my lady. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, yeah, I don't know about you guys, but these these later game chapters are not that difficult. <laughs> Thus far, like I had to, re I think I think Binding Blades mid game is the hardest part, for sure. Ow! You can't just hit the Great Trek like that. That's so rude. Oh, look, a flying unit! I'll probably deal lots of damage with my Ballista! Oh, what do you mean I only deal two damage? It is cool that Ballistas have a- Oh, no, no, no! No! You can't just do this to Star Trek! You can't do this to Star Trek! Oh, yeah! <laughs> you can't do this to me! <laughs> Alright, don't worry. Sophia's got your back. Oh man, she almost completely heals back all his HP with a heal staff. That's how good she is at power. Alright, Fa. Keep close behind Sophia. Alright, we gotta deal with... We gotta deal with these guys. Alright, Bart Ray. What the... Oh, Bart Ray! Doggone it, that would've been so good to just go wha-bam and kill him in one hit. Oh. Now we gotta use Alina to heal you up. <laughs> Sorry, I put all my energy into the force of the blow, but not into the actual aiming of it. <laughs> it happens, buddy. My gosh. Lance takes way less damage from magic attacks. <laughs> and he dodges a lot more, too. Whoop-bam! Nice job, Lance. A lot of the characters who I've had die, I'm pretty sad about. But some of them, like Alan dying, I was definitely sad about it at the beginning. But not so much anymore. Not because I'm a bad person, but it's because... If, I, if Alan had lived, I wouldn't have used Trek. And Trek's actually turned out to be very, very good. Oh, here. Take the Tina Staff, whatever the heck it is. Okay, is it like a men's staff? Welcome to the arena. Paladin with an Iron Lance. 
You know, this is actually kind of in character for Ruger to just be going to the arena and killing things while there's a battle going on. Just like, I must find worthy opponents. <laughs> This will backfire. Eventually, I'm going to get an incredibly terrifying enemy, and I will die immediately, and it'll be entirely my fault. Oh, shoot. I didn't bring... I didn't bring the silver card. Oh, he's put the silver card on Elfin. Because there's an armory here, and if I had the silver card with me, I could buy stuff at half price. There's gonna be really good stuff at the armory, too, isn't there? Got killer weapons! Oh. Okay, I don't need killing edges. I don't need killer lances. Don't really need killer axes either. I have like one axe user. I'm not really using any bow use. Oh no! Wait, I need somebody who's an S rank in bows. So Klein is kind of my only option. Well, I'm not giving him a killer bow. It's not reliable. I'm not buying anything. I don't need. Th I don't need that. I don't need that crap. Everyone's, just, everyone's at the front lines like, we kind of need some help. Where are Ruger and Deke and all the others? It's like they're just like, arena, arena. <laughs> you stop trying to purge my lord. That's not a very nice thing to do. Bart Ray, what's your bow rank? You're a D rank in bows. That's not ideal. Wow, you don't even one round that guy. Oh! That's Bart Ray the Brave. All those guys up there have lances. So normally I would use the axe, but I want to hit... Okay. Really, Trek? I'm like, I'm going to use the iron lance to make sure I kill this guy, and then Trek misses anyways. That's fine. I didn't, I didn't want to hit him anyways. Well, that stupid purge guy is going to live another turn. I hope I don't die. All right, m'lady. <laughs> Maybe I could, I should dry out Mr. Elfire. All right. I love how they're like, make sure you wait till the the sandbar appears before you do it. It's like, no, forget that. I'm just charging right on in. <gasps> I get the last support. Oh, yes. Last support with Ruker and Clarine. Hey. Oh. You dropped this. What? Oh, my ribbon. You brought it to me. Thank you. Um, I just realized I don't know your name. Would you please tell me your name if it would not be any trouble? <laughs> You're at the A support and you don't even know his name? Rutger. Rutger, I never even thanked you for saving me. It is no wonder you don't like me. Thank you for rescuing me that time. I know it is already too late, but if you'd accept my thanks... Not like you. What? Don't try something you're not used to. You're good at screaming, so why don't you do it? What? What? What do you mean by that? There you go. That's more like you. Come like that, and it makes me laugh once in a while, Clarine. Rootker. Well, that was a weird support. But now he has officially become Critger. Uh oh, Berserker. <laughs> Blam, 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 blam. <laughs> the step aside, Clarine. <laughs> I've got butt to kick. <laughs> Rooker's like, what? Did you think Ellen was gonna be your highest level character? Nope. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna make so much money here. I really should not be doing this. I this is I cannot tell you. you this is so going to bite me in the butt later. 
Yeah, this is gonna be a little scary. No crit yet. No crit yet! <laughs> oh well. Wow! He didn't crit like seven times in a row at a 57%. This ain't like you. You won, eh? <laughs> I did. <laughs> Alright, Thaney. You can join the crowd. And Deke, you can just kind of sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. <laughs> All right. Oh, Trek is Trek's fine. What am I even worried about, bro? Trek is an absolute tank with great movement, good strength, decent speed, and his only real weakness is his very low res. Dude, Trek. <laughs> Star Trek. Jam. All right, I got I got a pretty boss army right now. <laughs> After you ditch the fluff like a lot that you don't need, <laughs> you have a pretty good army. Heck, even Sophia now is pretty great. I'm so glad. You know, Sophia maybe maybe she is kind of like the Nino of the game, where she starts out incredibly bad, but becomes pretty great if you use her. Oh no! How dare you use a physics staff? <laughs> All right, Chlorine. Okay, yeah, the Tina staff just seems to be like a man. Why do I come to the arena? All right, <laughs> let's just keep doing. Okay, the arena is much less. Maybe I've just gotten very lucky, but the arena seems much less scary in this than it is in Fire Emblem Seven. In Fire Emblem Seven, like if you don't go in with Ninny's Grace, like you're basically just flat out dead. Granted, maybe Rooker's just really good with his support bonuses, but, like, thus far, I have not... Again, normally in Fire Emblem 7, if you want a shot at beating the arena, you need to use Ninny's Grace, which, for those of you who don't know, boosts your defense and res by 10. <laughs> and even then, it can still be terrifying. So I think maybe, maybe the arena's just nowhere near as scary in this game. I would love that. Alright, finish the job, Lance. Oh, yeah! There we go! <laughs> That's my boy! <laughs> oh, what a level up! What a level up! So good. <laughs> Here we go. Let's let Sophia try to kill him. If you miss this one, then Bartray can finish it. Nope, Sophia did it. Doggone it, Sophia, you're so good. Also, you have Silver Axe and Jack. Oh, stop! But he don't have his ranged option equipped at default. Time for some cheese. Okay, you have a sleep staff. I just wandered in range of your sleep staff. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> that might be a problem. <laughs> oh, shoot. Where's my restore staff? My restore staff is on Ellen. And she's far away. Okay. Well, that could be bad. <laughs> mm. I don't want to put Trek up front, because Trek has very little chance of actually surviving. A sleep staff. Okay. We need... Ellen, we need to get you over here ASAP. <laughs> Tina's staff. There you go, Rutka. I'm gonna keep sending Rootger into the arena. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> it would be pretty bad, but 
Oh, hey, Killer Lance. You thought Killer Lance was going to kill Er Lance? <laughs> yeah, 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 you, you can't. You, surely you must be joshing. You can't possibly be serious. You can't hit Lance when he's in the forest? At weapon triangle disadvantage? It's laughable. Oh, there it is! Wow, that appeared out of nowhere. Damn, the entire card path appeared in the sea! Like, what the heck? What? Well, according to the locals, the tide pulls out of this time of day. What? You didn't know about this? But, sir, we're not from these parts! We are not familiar with the geography of the land! <laughs> Charge! Prevent the enemy from crossing that path! Master Roy, we have a report. Did the path in the sea appear? Yes. Bishop Yodel was right about this. Did the enemy know about this? Actually, they seem to be in a panicked state. Alright, then let's not miss the chance. Charge! Why? We... There's the enemy... There aren't that many enemies on this stage. This seems like an over-exaggeration. A Valkyrie with fire. I ain't worried. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Rooker is serving our army in a very important way by making us money. I don't want to hear any complaining. <laughs> Berserker! Now, the thing is, even if he has a 0% chance to hit, he still can potentially do a critical hit. But Rooker don't even care. Man, Rooker's gotten a lot of experience in this arena. <laughs> Dude, he's insane. Look at that. I probably shouldn't be arena abusing, but I can't help it. It's just so good. Also, does this bishop not move? If that's the case. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two. If that's the case, then I'm going to assume he doesn't move. Frabjuice day for me. Kalu Kale. Aw, oh, dude. I've, how long, how I've longed to have a druid in my army. Do you seriously not... There we go. Lance, you you weaken him. Bart Ray will finish him off. I don't want to use a Brave Axe for something like this. Oh, actually, Speed Wing on Bart Ray could have been a decent idea as well. But nah, no regrets using it on Sophia. Alright, now we got Trek here. This guy's gonna hit pretty hard, isn't he? Not against Trek, but... Oh, I mean, there's no way he kills Bart Ray. He doesn't even... Do nah, Bart Ray's fine. He's fine. There we go. <laughs> Heal up Lance's 1 HP. Lelina, be a darling. Thank you. Oh yeah, Fanny, you're here. <laughs> Even if these horses start moving towards this team, like, we have Ruger with all these supports. Oh, oh welcome back, Aras. Um, well, you didn't miss a whole lot. We've been slaughtering the enemies in our path. Ruger's been going to the arena over and over again to make a bunch of money. Okay. <laughs> this one might might take a while. Free critical hits later, he's dead. <laughs> I can't tell if they really just made the arena stupidly difficult in Fire Emblem 7, or if Rooker's just a little unfairly good when it comes to the arena. <laughs> Either way, though, I'm, I'm doing this. <laughs> Alright, Elfin, you just need one more level. 
A druid with a flux. <laughs> Admittedly, Ruger is pretty well suited for the arena. Fire Emblem does have arenas, yes, where you can fight unlimited enemies. And get paid money, and get a lot of EXP, so that's what we're doing. I normally stay away from the arenas, but... Ah, the arena in this doesn't seem to be all that difficult. So I, I dig it. <laughs> Alright, let's let's keep getting Barre's axe, uh, axe rank up. Yunk! How much res does our card have? Ten res. I mean... <laughs> it's still gonna deal stupidly high amounts of damage to you, but still. Here, I'm gonna start pulling out the Sleep Staff. Because I have my Restore Staff close by now. Junk. Okay, now we got now we got the entourage arriving. Not that Lance particularly cares. All right, I've been wondering when you were gonna try to put me to sleep. All right, all right. <laughs> okay, Grimsley, I'll give you that one. Darn it. Still, only Ellen is capable of using Restore Staff. Lance is on a horse. He's not a centaur. There are centaurs in Fire Emblem uh, 8, though. You don't get any on your team. No, he's, he's a guy riding a horse. Not quite as exciting. And the things I do to build up Bart Ray's axe rank. <laughs> Bart Ray axe rank and Ellen Light rank. Those are those are, those are my priorities right now. I gotta have all the legendary weapons. Gotta steal the Declaration of Independence. There we go. I wonder what would happen if we used Fa to fight the boss. He's just like, ah, oh, a dragon! Wait, a chicken? <laughs> this is weird. Oh yeah, one of you guys has... Oh, shoot. You both have Axe Reavers. Oh, well that's just fine for Lance. <laughs> Here you go, equip a sword. Oh, you need a heal. <laughs> I wish you could just say, if I use a staff on somebody, don't show me the animation. But I want to see their attack animation. That would be nice. But alas, no. Okay, Ruger. <laughs> Why do I come to the arena? <laughs> one, one of these days, it's going to be like, oh, okay, you're up against, like, uh... <laughs> A silver sword sword master, and he just crits you and you die. So you won, eh? <laughs> I wanted to see how far I could go with this. Berserker! <laughs> Critger has arrived! <laughs> My gosh! Okay, Ruger is great in the arena. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so stupid. But I love it. Prefer training Pokemon? I, I never could get into Pokemon. Granted, I didn't play the originals growing up. Like, my first Pokemon game I played when I was, I think, 17? Maybe I was just too old for it at that point? Like, I don't know. Yeah, I I can see they have some similarities. Oh yeah, Axe Reaver on Bart Ray. Oh, whoops. Still hits anyways. 
Yeah, for me, for the thing about Pokemon is, like, you have, there are too many characters you can have in your party, and they can only have four moves apiece. Like, I would much rather a traditional, like, turn-based strategy game where you have, like, a few units that can get, that can have a lot of flexibility to them. I know that's the whole point of Pokemon, is that there's a lot of them, but... I do enjoy um, the Pokemon characters in Smash Bros, though. No, you're not putting Bart Ray to sleep. I will beat. <laughs> Why? Well, yes, I would like to keep going to the arena. Okay, here off an iron. Pfft, never mind. I'm like, this actually might be tough. No, it won't. <laughs> Dude, the arenas are such a cash grab. <laughs> this is amazing. I should have abused the arenas long ago and bought way more angelic robes. <laughs> so you want your You know what, Rooker? You're not allowed in the arena. <laughs> if I made a balance patch, one thing I would do is cap the amount of times you can use the arena, at least with each person. <laughs> Does Fire Emblem have gladiators? I mean, what you see in the arena is probably the closest you get to gladiators. Slash berserkers. Ruger does not even care. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> but I love it. Okay. <laughs> Maybe allowing characters to bring support bonuses into the arena with them is a little unfair. <laughs> Just a little bit. Bart Ray's gonna wake up. <laughs> All right. This is my last stream before my vacation. That is correct. It's a perfect kill. It's too good, yes! And that's with the Iron Axe. Nice job, Bart Ray. Okay, well, you are a pre-promote, so I don't expect a lot of good level ups. Aw, oh, dude. I don't know, I just realized Sophia could die from this exchange. Never mind. <laughs> If she missed and the guy got a 3% crit, she actually would have died. Whoops. She got speed! I don't even care, it's the only thing she got! She got speed! <laughs> I'm, it's, it's easy to please me, Sophia. All you have to do is get speed. Man, I wonder what would happen if we sent someone else into the arena. I... Hmm. Part of me is like, what if I sent Ellen into the arena? But also... That one has no defense and uh, very little HP, so I actually think that would be a really colossally stupid idea. <laughs> she got the need for speed. Heal up. Wait, no, not Trek! I wanted to heal up Lance! <laughs> Doggone it. it! You selected the wrong guy on a horse. Okay, I'm gonna actually pull Lance back, because it looks a little scary for him. Oh! And there you have it. My guys are not getting very much EXP. I don't know about you, but this, this would be a lot scarier if there were more pre-promoted uh, pr uh, enemies. Okay, more ambush spawns. At least these guys are on forts, though. Uh-oh. That's actually a little scary. I mean, at least she's not getting one-rounded by them, but... Ah, uh, that's right. Doggone it, Lelina. You weren't supposed to heal up track. Actually, that's a little scary. If she gets hit by the other cab and the archer, is she, is she, I don't think she should be dead. Unless that archer came out with, like, a silver bow. Which would be very unfair. Nice one, milady. Strength and defense are good. 
Okay. No! That was a 28%er! Come off it! If Lelina dies, I'm gonna be ticked. If that freaking archer is able to kill her. No. Thank God! Okay, now, don't let anybody else attack her, please! What? No. No! You're not allowed to do that! <laughs> Melina, I'm... Oh, her fire just broke, I think. Okay, that was scary. <laughs> Thankfully, we've got free healers over here. Oh, Bart Ray doesn't even care. He's like, I haven't been put to sleep before. You ain't doing that again. Alright. Just keep sending her gun to the arena. Oh, a bishop with lightning. That could be scary. <laughs> Not. <laughs> oh my god, get wrecked! <laughs> Ruger's like, this is what you hired me for, right? Yes, Ruger, it is exactly what we hired you for. <laughs> we can also send Deacon to the arena. Not sure if we need to, though. I mean, we also don't need to send Ruker in, but we're choosing to because it's so great. All right, CRS, thank you so much for joining in. Hope you had a good time. Enjoy the rest of your night. All right, you you made more money. <laughs> Ruker's not even taking damage in here. This is nuts. <laughs> Clarine's like, what is the point of me being here? You, we just need you to give Ruger moral support when he goes to the arena. <laughs> just sit in the sidelines and cheer for him, and he'll do well. That's all we need you to do. <laughs> Alright. Let's, let's just mend up Lolina here. <laughs> nice one, Ellen. Alright, you're done with your stupid old f uh, <laughs> sleep staff. Alright. Let's keep healing up. No, I want to heal up Bart Ray. <laughs> Man, when you have, like, free healers on one... <laughs> I have four healers on this level. Okay, now we heal up Lance. <laughs> I meant to do this last turn, Lance. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, here we go. Whoop blam! We've taken out the yeah. There are no Finbur that three guys over here. Cha! <laughs> Is that the best you can do? <laughs> yeah, my units are kind of good. <laughs> just a little, just a little bit. All right, Fa. This looks like a job for you. Boom! <laughs> oh my gosh, Fa! Fa is awesome. These are the kind of mana keats I love in Fire Emblem games. Dang, that's a good level. I like the mana keats like this that are balanced because you can't just use her constantly because she has a limited amount of divine stone uses, and I'm assuming I don't get more than one. I must say I still prefer Mur, but this is pretty good. Okay, who do what do you guys have up here? Steel Lance. Oh, you have a Horse Slayer. Okay, we're not we're not going near you. <laughs> That's a no-no. Oh, hey! Pegasus Knight's coming out of nowhere. Sure, why not? Really? <laughs> no damage. Oh. What kind of a what kind of a soldier is this guy? He just makes a beeline for the like the six-year-old girl. 
I think that's breaking the Geneva Convention. <laughs> but granted, our army is largely comprised of children. Ah! <laughs> I forgot! She don't have the Delphi shield. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, no, 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 that's fine! You can heal up. No big deal, no problem. Ho oh, ho! <laughs> oh, Bart Ray the Brave. I'm digging Bart Ray. I'm glad he's in this game. Oh, yeah. Oh, beware of the chicken lady. Sophia may look cute, but uh, she's gonna, she gonna wreck you up something fierce. I, I know I, I know I gave her two big stat boosters, but that's fine. She's still she's still fine. Oof. There we go. Light magic rank boost. Ah oh, man. Uh, yeah, cause Elena's she's pretty close to capping her level, and she's only has to four defense. I, there's no way I can send Ellen into the arena. No way. Shuk-chunk! Get out of here. Alright. The problem is Mr. Mr. Horse Slayer, but he's not, he's not my favorite. <laughs> Kind of the opposite, actually. Uh, I don't like my odds there. But maybe if Milady was to do something. Yeah. <laughs> Take out the horse slayer guy, and then our problems go away. <laughs> Dane. Oh, well. man. Giving the Gantlance to Milady. That was a good decision. That was a good decision. Okay, you got the Axe Reaver, eh? Alright. You know, I can deal with that. There we go. I made the right call early promoting a couple of characters. Like, early promoting Thaney. Yeah, that, that was a good move. She's a lot better as a Falco Knight. <gasps> she can support Sophia now! Aww. <laughs> Great support thus far. <laughs> Fa, what are you looking at? You grew up a little. R really? Yeah. Why, why? Fa always stays the same. Always stay the same. You were the same as Fa before. Yes. I am half dragon, so I grow slowly. But you grow even more slowly than me. Why does Fa stay little? Why doesn't she grow up like you? You are a full-blooded dragon. A dragon's lifespan is close to eternity. I have human blood in me, so I grow at a different speed than you. Do you understand? No. You'll understand when you grow up. When will Fa grow up? Soon? If by soon you mean like 5,000 years, then yeah. Yes. Yay! I mean, Fa, enjoy your childhood while you have it. I know you've been a child for like 6,000 years, but... Alright, this is getting a little deep. <laughs> Sophia gives the black hole. <laughs> should, Sophia, is there something that you should tell us about? No. Okay. <laughs> okay, I believe you. Wow! Lance! You always just barely don't one-round them. I'm getting kind of annoyed. Like, seriously, it's like he always just doesn't one-round. It's always a little short. Should have given the energy ring to him. Who did I give the energy ring to? Did I give it to Thaney? I probably did. Oh yeah, it's the entourage. <laughs> all right, Rooker, <laughs> just just keep it up, man. These wagers are all really tiny amounts. Normally it's like, do you want to wager 980, which means it's gonna be a crazy tough enemy. Again, comparing this to Fire Emblem Seven. 
Ruka! 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 <laughs> so... So dumb, but I love it. <laughs> Another one? Didn't you just see what I did to the last Valkyrie? <laughs> I guess it was a sage last time. <laughs> you can't, can't touch this! <laughs> Get out of here. That was hardly any experience. <laughs> so stupid. Oh, so you won. <laughs> Alright. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, I should s send someone else into the arena. Dog on it, where I got more ambush spawns. Oh no, you're not killing my girl, Thaney. You are not killing my girl, Fanny. It's not happening. Oh, no. Not Ellen. Not Ellen. You do not get to kill Ellen. Oh, wait. You just want to help me practice my light magic rank? Oh, never mind. The more, the merrier. <laughs> oh, shoot. Fanny's in range of yet another freaking archer with a steel bow. I gotta get Fanny out of here. I have no idea how long these stupid reinforcement spawns are going to keep appearing. No! No, don't go for Track. Go for Bart Ray. He wants to be able to wield arm ads. <laughs> he didn't get to do that in Fire Emblem 7. Come on, attack. Yeah! Yeah! Attack Bart Ray. whoop -lam! Get out of here. <laughs> Plus, if you reach S rank in a weapon, uh, you get a permanent crit bonus on it. <sighs> Thank goodness Thaney has like 800 speed. Oh, plus if, if I bring Thaney back to the beginning of the course, uh, then she gets a nice... <laughs> she gets to give uh, Deke an even bigger support bonus. Alright, Shrek, you can, you can leave the Peg Knights up to Bart, right? He's, he's more than capable of handling them. All on his own. Gantlance it is. Milady's kind of stupidly good. Like, <laughs> in Fire Emblem 7, your Wyvern Rider Heath, like, he's good, but he's tough to use. Milady, like, <laughs> like, what is this? She's so overpowered. <laughs> Alright, you got a Steel Lance. Here you go, Fa. There we go. We should, we should be able to do that. Alright, Lance, finish the job this time, okay? <laughs> Don't let him get away! <laughs> oh man, who else should, who else should I- can, can, can you send Fa to the arena? <laughs> you probably can't. Welcome to the arena. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is a little scarier. <laughs> Except, I mean, you have a 14% chance to hit, but, like... <laughs> <laughs> I am inevitable. <laughs> Ruger. <laughs> My gosh, this is so dumb. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> You know how I said Ruger was a little lacking? I I take it all back. <laughs> Basically doubled the amount of money I had to start with on this level just from Ruger killing things. <laughs> Who would have thought it was such a lucrative business? <laughs> and the best part is, I don't even have to break my own weapons doing this. They provide you with weapons for this. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> I, love, I love how surprised he sounds every time it's like, You won? It's like, it's yes? Did you not even see who entered the, the arena? Ouch.
<laughs> yes, attack bot ray. Man, this is yep. <laughs> Yep, Finn's, Finn's, everything's going my way now. <laughs> this is, this definitely seems to be one of those Fire Emblem games that gets a lot easier the later into the game you get. Kind of in Star Cry this seems like the polar opposite of Fire Emblem 7's difficulty. Like, Fire Emblem 7, like, the beginning is really difficult, and the end game is, can be a bit difficult, depending on what you do. But the mid game is generally kind of easy. But then, this seems like it's the opposite, where the mid-game is really tough, but the beginning and the end don't seem all that tough. Granted, I haven't seen the all, end, all the end game yet. I'm also playing on normal mode. <laughs> Alright, who wants to die first? <laughs> I'm just gonna cap Rutger's level here. <laughs> Elfin is also very close to capping his level as well. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Finally, Rutger meets the one man he can respect himself. <laughs> Except he's way worse here. <laughs> Jeez, Rutger just has not taken damage in like 10 turns! Despite fighting like two enemies every turn. <laughs> Stop! He's too good! <laughs> Is he capped speed? He's capped skill! He has almost capped speed. He needs... He's gotta stop. <laughs> I'll keep Bartray there in case there are more Pegasus Knights. In the meantime... Let's have you two keep... Oh, hey! A second support! Lady Milady, about the other day. The other day? Yes. You said that I was being more helpful than usual. Oh, that. Are you ready to tell me what's on your mind? Yes. Uh, it's just that I wanted to apologize. Apologize? For what? When Princess Guinevere and I decided to go meet the Lysian Alliance army, I didn't consult you at all. I just wanted to apologize about that. I knew you had the deepest loyalty for Princess Guinevere. And still... You just followed Princess Guinevere's orders like we are supposed to. You have nothing to feel bad about. But... Ellen, you mustn't always mull over the past like that if you want to move forward. Yes. There you, <laughs> there you have it. Wait. Oh, he's perfect! Yes! We also need to have Trek start building up that Milady support as well. Because Trek needs... Trek needs a friend. <laughs> It doesn't even have to be a romance support. Just, he needs a friend. Thaney, you head on back. Maybe we'll send Deke into the arena. Maybe we'll send Bart Ray into the arena. Well, that might be a bit riskier, actually. Because Bart Ray, he has a lot of HP, sure, but he, he's likely to get doubled, and if he gets like, goes up against the Swordmaster, that could just be death for him. And that would be bad, because then there goes my like, one guy who can use arm ads. Can't hide forever, buddy. Bart Ray's strength is ridiculous. He's like he starts with 22 strength. Like, look at this. It's disgusting damage. I know these are Pegasus Knights and he's promoted, but like, he's using the weakest axe in the game right now. Alright. <laughs> Ellen, let's see... Oh, wow. You just wrecked this guy. B why Why is this happening to me? Because you were butt. <laughs> wow, he dodged! I can't believe it. <laughs> that just seems unfair. Sure hope nothing else pops out of that uh, fortress. Well, I guess we just keep sending Rooker to the arena. Why do I come to the arena? Because <laughs> apparently there's nothing dangerous here. 
<laughs> who will challenge the man who just slaughtered like 800 of her fighters? I bet I can do it. <laughs> Wanna bet? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> these competitive, <laughs> these combatants are like, well, the last like 800 arena matches have all been just one guy effortlessly slaughtering everybody who comes his way. But sure, I'll take my chance against him. <laughs> his critical hit rate is going down now. I can only assume these enemies have higher luck now, but <laughs> doesn't even matter. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Okay, Ruger's getting like no more exp. <laughs> Well, once once Thaney arrives, I'll send Deke into the arena. All right, we still get more Pegasus Knights. This is perfect for boosting Bart Ray's axe rank because you get more point uh, points to your weapon rank if you kill somebody rather than if you just hit them. Like if you if you swing with your weapon and miss, I think you might get one weapon like weapon uh, point. If you swing and you hit, but you don't kill, I think you get two, and then if you kill, I think you get three. Fact check me on that though. I'm not entirely sure. Oh my gosh, Sophia doubling enemies. It's it's a dream come true. Ah. Uh, so good to have you, Sophia. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I used her. Yes, she was a pain in the butt to use. But it, it's re it is... It is really rewarding to take a really, really terrible unit and level them up to the point where they're actually pretty decent. They're not necessarily a good unit as a result. But it is fun to do that. Are you still at C rank? You are still at C rank. This is kind of annoying. Alright, alright. Let's send Ruger in just a couple more times. Oh no. A swordmaster. Whatever will I do? <laughs> Boom! <laughs> so, uh, oh wow, he got a lot of EXP for that one. That was weird. All right, Ruger. <laughs> Come on, Shrink Machine, one more time! <laughs> think you stand a chance? <laughs> like, at all? What the <laughs> Ruger, stop! <laughs> You're too good! <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if Ellen is my highest level character anymore. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> He's level 14. Ellen is level 4. Yep, Ruger is now my highest level character. <laughs> Funny how that happens. Please keep sending Pegasus Knights my way. Please keep sending Pegasus Knights my way. I can keep this up as long as you can. <laughs> I guess it is nice that they're still sending unpromoted enemies at me, just in case you want to use someone like Hugh, who's unpromoted. I mean, rest in peace, Hugh. Alright. I think it's finally time to retire. Ruger. From the arena. And now we're gonna send Deacon instead. <laughs> he doesn't have nearly as high a critical hit rate. So, it'll probably be a little more dangerous for him. But he's still crazy good. Do, 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 do. Nope, didn't want to use it on you, Ruger, but okay. We can send him in again. Okay, this is actually a little scary. 
Oh, never mind. No, it's not. <laughs> we double the Sage. Ugh. I mean, it is Deke. He has really high speed, so... I guess it's not that surprising. I happen to be... a hero. Okay. Well, at least defense is a good stat. Man, he's he's pretty dodgy. He he really wants to avoid me, doesn't he? How do you fare against him, Sophia? Ah. Oh, Sophia's already S rank. No, what are we even bothering this with this for then? That's fine, Arcard. You can keep healing yourself. Oh, the Pegasus Knight stopped. This just means I get to use my light magic on you more. Ah, yeah. Bart, Ray the Brave. How close are you? Oh, he's, he's close to S rank. I love that. Alright, now we can use the Tina Staff on Deke. I will not be sending Thaney into the arena. To be honest, I, c I could probably stop these arena shenanigans. Wait, does Deke not double? Wow, Deke doesn't double the Valkyrie. Get out of here. He only got that much EXP? Really? That was actually kind of a tough arena fight. Deke has 20 speed and he didn't double. Okay. Oh, there we go. Elfin's final level up. Okay, you know, like, I mean... Actually, those are pretty decent stats for a Dancer. I normally expect Dancer's res to be a little higher, but... I guess I can't complain. Oh, wow, she wasn't able to heal him up fully. <laughs> Alright, bar card. Really? This is just getting out of hand. He's dodged three 76s. I just don't, that don't seem right. All right, man, you're pitting me up against just all the magic units, aren't you? Because you know Deke has really low reds. Oh, look at that money. Look at that money. Mmm. <laughs> I know I'm not supposed to love money that much, but... Uh-oh. Ah, now nah, we're fine. This this is perfectly winnable. I'll keep that in mind. Don't worry. Ooh. Nice crit, Deke. Ooh, look at that EXP. I I need to reach thirty thousand gold. Th that that's my that's my goal. I wonder if Roy can support Fa. That would be kind of a cute support. Who can Bart Ray support? I want to see who Bart Ray can support. Oh, I still have this pulled up. Bart Ray can support. Um. Absolutely nobody who I am using. Great. Well, Bart Ray's gonna be a lone wolf. He don't need friends. He just needs strength. <laughs> well, Arkart's gonna survive another round of light magic. And the bosses aren't anywhere near as annoying as they were in the early game, I'll tell you that. 
<laughs> Welcome to the arena. <laughs> Easy. Bro, you might want to just leave. Never mind, too late. <laughs> you signed your death warrant going in here. Get out. I did not see the final episode of Arthur. To be honest, I haven't really regularly watched Arthur since season 12 of it, and it's on like season 30 or whatever. Never actually saw it. Honestly, I feel like I feel like Arthur should have ended before they changed over to Flash animation. I love that show, but like the quality definitely dropped in the later seasons. See now you now you crit when you don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> mm mm, good. Do 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 do. All right, finish the job, Ellen. Do it. There we go. I am an Etrurian noble. I must not die here. <laughs> Get out of here, Arcard. <laughs> so perish all traitors. She got the fence! Guys, it's a Christmas miracle! Ellen got the fence! <laughs> oh, wowie, wow! That's just amazing. Alright, I mean... <laughs> We probably can just seize the throne whenever we want to at this point, but, eh. Oh, get wrecked! <laughs> yeah, I... Simpsons was another show I never really got into. Probably because during its heyday, I was too young to really be watching it. I have heard... I have seen a couple of the episodes, and some of... Yeah, some of the earlier ones are definitely really entertaining. But I have heard the newer ones definitely massively dropped in quality. And kind of same with Spongebob as well. Ah, it's Silver Sword Hero! What? Uh, what? Okay, okay. If I get hit again, then I'm leaving. Okay. Oh, yes! Okay, that was- that was- okay, now they're starting to throw out the- the scary enemies. They- they- they give me an iron sword and they give him a silver- they're like, we're getting tired of this guy winning. Really? Just defense again? Really? You're better than that, Deke. Alright, maybe this is the game saying, you know, you've gotten a lot of EXP in the arena. You really should just stop. And I, you know what? I think that's a valid point. We should just stop. But I, I'm going to build up supports. Also, note to self. Give Ellen an angelic robe. I probably should have given Ellen an angelic robe on this map so I could send her into the arena. But even then, that would still be pretty risky. Let me guess. The lady and Trek support really slowly. Oh wait, shoot! I need to get Elfin over here. Because Elfin can actually support up uh, with Fa. Forgot about that. Alright, let's build everyone's supports up. Happy, happy, happy. This is tanking my tactics rank. I don't care. I'm not going for a good rank on this playthrough at all. I'm just here to have fun and just beat the stupid game. <laughs> don't you love how supports work in this? <laughs> Oh, 
They're the they're so great. <laughs> I love supports in this game. No support. No support. Have I already capped the amount of support points I've gotten? It's possible. No support, no support. Alright, I think that's the, amount, the highest amount I can get anyways. Just making sure there's nothing I forgot about. Okay, good. Conquer the frog. Lord Arcard, what a pathetic ending for one who became so powerful. Well, last year I didn't think I would be doing this either. Maybe fate can turn out in the most unlikely way. Um, I do plan on streaming Shadow of the Colossus uh, sometime this year. As for when, I don't know, but that's one that's been on my mind for a while. And that might be true for Burn, too. Master Roy, what is it that you're holding in your hand? Oh, this? This is the Fire Emblem. Oh, so this tiny gem is... Princess Guinevere wanted me to keep it. It seemed difficult for her to give it to me. She must have been hoping to end the war peacefully until there was no hope left. Hmm. Trust between siblings. It didn't seem likely on the outside. Why not? Because the enemy is Zephiel, the King of Burn. It is said that he murdered his own father, so I didn't think that he would be moved by family trust. What? He killed his own father? Didn't you know, Master Roy? Zephiel took the throne because the former king had died. Well, that is how kings work. But because the former king's death has been so sudden, there are many rumors going around. And one of them is... that Zephiel assassinated him. Well, his dad was, like, an absolute piece of garbage human being. Doesn't justify assassinating him, but also, like... As far as assassinations go, that's one that I'd be like, you know, I get it. Does Princess Guinevere know about this? She must know something about it, if not all. <laughs> well, that was chapter... I have no idea what the heck that chapter was named. That was a great stream. I mean, I'm a little sad that I green died. That that was that was bad because I was going to support her with Fa and Sophia because now Sophia only gets to support with one person. Actually, no, maybe two. There's another person that we get soon, apparently later on in the game where that Sophia can support as well. So maybe we can we can do that. But that'll just depend. But at, at least the Sophia Fa support seem to be cute. All right. Well, that that stream went on for longer than my weekday streams usually go. But you know what? Because I go on vacation this week, I think you guys deserve a little bit of a treat. So. I will not be streaming again until March, the first Monday in March. That'll be when I stream next, so I'll be taking a week off. Actually, wait, is it the first Monday in March? No, it's the second Monday. Oh, no, no, technically, yes, the first Monday in March, March 7th. That's when I will, that is when I will be streaming next, so tune in for that. I will be on vacation during the, uh, that time, so during my vacation time, I will probably not be uploading anything to YouTube. I will not be streaming. I'll probably be very inactive on my Discord, but I will be back, and I will be ready for Chapter uh, 18, The Frozen River. So it sounds like we're finally going to the Iceland of Ilya. That'll be interesting, because I haven't seen what Ilya's like yet. All right, thank you all for, so much for watching. It was great having you in Twitch chat. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week. Fantastic next week as well, and God bless. Have a great night, everyone.